morning we've got a lot of the big blackbirds, the currawongs and the crows are down there this morning. They're a little bit on the shy side. You're going to eat it all, are you? I'm not going to save any for your friends. Well, they'd better be quick if they want some. You're going to come and get some too? You've got to be quick, don't you? You miss out. The Corellas are there eating their seed for breakfast. And off go the Currawongs till tomorrow. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to play with some of my Extreme Sheen metallic paint again today from Deco Art. So I've got a lot in the mail. Um, the 24K I can't get at the moment, that's just older stock, but I've got some really pretty colours. There's um, rose gold, uh, that one's copper, bronze, these down here are pearl, so they're kind of a pale goldy silver. I've got some, that's more pearl, um, sterling silver down here, so yeah. Uh, and oh antique bronze and there's a rose gold so there's lots of different colors move them out of the way today I'm going to use the copper and my one of my previous pours that was the gold gold with reds and then I did silver with the blues they've all got a black background and then today, as I said, I'm going with the copper. And I thought I'd see what copper and um, greens look like together. They should be pretty. I'm just going to grab my cup because I forgot to get a cup. There we go. So this is a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, 12 by 16 inch. Uh, the black I've used Artist Loft Flow Acrylic only because I've got about 10 of these bottles and I need to use them up. So I've used one part paint to one part flow troll. If you're using black Liquitex Basics, that's fine. Just use two to one with some water. My colours here, uh, this dark green, I've mixed equal parts of green and blue. And then this green is just that one. What's it called? Deep Green Permanent. Um, and the, the green, pale green here is light green permanent. Um, and, of course, my... Copper. So they've all been mixed two parts Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics and then a splash of water just to bring them down to the correct consistency. You don't need very much of this. I only use half a bottle in the pour this size. Oh, I've got paint on my gloves. Uh, so I've put 25 grams of paint and 25 grams of Floetrol in my cup and that's all that I need. Otherwise it just it takes over. Now, the black, I've got more black because I want to use some of the black for my background as well. So I'm going to use about two-thirds of this black in my cup. Like so. I think that's about two-thirds. I can't see. <laughs> I think that's about it. And then I'm going to pour some water. I just use tap water, squirt of water. To thin that out and then that's going to be my background or my base colour. I don't worry about doing the whole thing. I just sort of put the black around the outside after I've poured my cup out. So that's it there. Um, you can if you want to put it on first. I may do it first, as you see. Well, I won't may do it. I will do it first. I 
only because once I've poured my cup out, I like to tilt straight away before my intestine things pop up. You know what I'm talking about. If you follow me, you know I don't like those big intestine looking things. They're okay if you're doing a cloud pour, you know, they, then they call clouds. But when they're in this kind of pour, I don't want them. I just want metallic pearls to pop up. So let's just spread that around. Don't have to worry about the edges now. I mean, you at home obviously could do it. You've got time. I don't really have the time with you guys watching and waiting. So I'll just spread that to there. See, that wasn't a very much paint in there, but it, it goes a long way. I'm going to the movies tonight with my daughter. Today is Saturday, so Christy's up for this weekend. I'm going to go and get some yum cha. And then grab a movie. Who likes watching scary movies? I like watching, um, oh, what's it called now? I've forgotten the name of it. You know, in, in the Insidious and, and all of those. Annabelle, that sort of thing. Um, Annabelle, the, la the latest Annabelle had finished at my cinema. So we're going to see another one called Crawl. I think it's about a tsunami that kind of washes a crocodile or an alligator or something into someone's house and then they stuck under the house or in the house with the, all the water and the, and the crocodile. <laughs> That'll be fun. It's just, just for a girl's night out. Um, Oh, because it's my birthday on Monday. So she's come up. I've got my prezi and we're going to go and do this tonight. A little girly um, weekend for mum for her birthday. So isn't that nice? She's a lovely daughter. So, yeah, we're doing that. But she won't be here on Monday when it's my birthday. So she wants to celebrate today. Take me out. Dinner and a movie. Just us girls. There we go. And pour these in from up high. Just kind of swirl them around a little bit so that the colour all gets mixed up. And then on Monday evening, the family's getting together. Myself and my hubby and my other daughter and her boyfriend and my son and his fiance and my parents. And we're all going out to a restaurant for dinner. One of my favourite restaurants. It's nothing special, it's just a favourite. And in there goes the dark green. Oh, I hope these colours work. Work with copper. Like, you know, greens and reddish sort of bronzy colours. They tend to work well together. So I'm hoping that the copper will be nice, especially against the black. Now, I should have a black centre with copper cells around the outside. That's my plan anyway. Now, up I... Swirl it around. Scrape the rest out, pour it in. Don't want to waste any. You've only got 50 grams of the mixed copper, so use it all. Obviously, if you're doing a bigger canvas, if you're doing double the size, then you know, double your paint. Use a whole bottle of the Deco Art Supreme Sheen. But if you're only doing a little test one like me, you don't need all of it. It's very strong. If you use the whole bottle, you'll just have cells everywhere and uh, it'll take over. It's just too much. Um, now, the other thing I was contemplating, do you guys like these centres in the middle, you know, with a little bit of extra colour? That one's got the blue in there. This one's got sort of a reddish orange in here. There is a way to get rid of those, but I'd have to actually tip the whole tip that whole centre off to one side. So if I pour up here, it's easier for me to tip that blobby centre off. Or do we like the centre, because it's a little focal point, in which case we pour in the middle? Decisions. Um, I'm just going to pour in the middle. Um, on another experiment, I will try pouring on the side and then... And you lose a lot of paint, don't you? Oh, I don't know. That's for another day. Here we go. 
up high in the middle. Pretty colours. Just do a little bit of a pattern there and then catch it. I guess if you're going to have a centre, make a feature of it, hey? And do a little bit of a, a swirly thing in there just to catch that pale green against the black. I think that'll look pretty. Torch it. Pop those bubbles. Now with this particular core, I can already see that this section here with all that copper is gonna turn into intestine. So that needs to go straight away. Go around once, off the corner there, back into the middle. I'm going to have to tip all that copper off. I know it's a bit of a shame, but if you don't want those intestine things, you have to tip that corner off. This is what I've learned. It's a bit of a shame all the copper's gone to the outside. But if I'm right, and I've been practicing these a few times, you've been following me, if I'm right, you know, you'll know that the copper will still come up, the copper pearls will still come up. Cross fingers. <laughs> oh dear, hope so. Okay. All right, copper pearls, come on. Do your thing. Don't let me down. Now, the other thing I need to do is just, I'm not going to tilt over any more corners, but I need to just keep moving the paint. I just encourage the cells to come up. Hopefully they will. Come on, copper, where are you? Don't let me down. All right, I'm gonna leave it there for a minute. And I'll torch again and see what happens. I think in the previous pause, my copper came up a little bit faster, but we'll see. Torch it, I'll put the camera on pause. Make a coffee, come back. I can see some copper cells coming up around the edges now. It just takes a little while. Got a lot of copper in the middle actually, in there. Don't know that they'll turn into cells though, it's more like a cloudy effect in the middle. and see what happens. That corner's done. Doesn't look as if it's reacting as fast as um, the other colours did, hey? The, the gold one and the silver one, if you saw those. There are some coming up here. I wonder if it needs me to just tilt it a little bit more. If you leave too much paint on the surface, it won't work. All right, I'll have to torch again for that corner that I've tilted over. It's very dark. 
dark. Maybe I'm, I mean, my choice of colours weren't the best here. I was expecting more green to pop up. as fast as the other one did that's for sure I'm trying to zoom this open oh that's too much all right Mm, there's a few little cells popping up. Might have had too much black in there or maybe my black was too thick. Mixed it the same as I did all my others, but it just doesn't look as if it's reacting as much, does it? it may well have something to do with the colours as well, whether they are opaques or semi-transparents. I'll have to check my reds and see how they what they were. But anyway, well... Um, I'll come back to you. See you soon. So as you can see, it hasn't really changed a lot. A bit disappointing. I think my black might have been a bit thick. When I was mixing my black, instead of putting in 40 grams, it kind of went to about 45. Um, but I didn't add any extra water so which I probably should have done and that may have inhibited the cells to come up the cells that are here are, are pretty nice I've actually made up some more paints so they are there um, and I'm going to pour over the top of this so there's some cells there so they they are pretty just haven't got a lot of them there's that nice little green section there with some more copper in it so yeah, still it's pretty, but um, just would have liked more cells. So we are going again. So I've added the, I've taken out that dark bluey green and I've replaced it with this one. Oops, are you going to focus? <laughs> it's too close. It's called Brilliant Yellow Green. I've got all these new Liquitex. Liquitex Basics paints that I've had to buy for my class. Look at that. Black, blues, greens. The other greens that, that are missing there are over on my table that I'm using at the moment. So lots and lots of colours that I've had to buy for the class. There's my globals. I usually use my globals. And stores you guys have seen this before all my stores my stock so yeah there we go all right climb up the ladder and we will go again slide you into that little holder there there we go zoom you in and we'll go again Get my glove on, turn the lights on. Alrighty. Let's move it out of the way for a minute. You can sit there. Uh, so I made up some more black. I didn't make up as much as last time because I don't need the black background. I'm just going to pour what's over there already. So that's going to be my background. So I haven't got the extra bit of Black, I think last time I had 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of black. That's the water. This one's only 40 and 40. And again, I'm going to pour in from up high. It's going to go kind of in the middle for this time. See, last time my copper was, I kind of swirled it around and a lot of it I lost over the edge so I'm going to see if I can keep it in the middle this time just pour straight into the middle this green was a little bit thicker I had to add a little bit more of the 
water to the green. Yeah, that dark blue, bluey green colour that I made, I think it was just probably a little bit too dark against it, black and the dark green. So hopefully this nice bright green that I've got will really pop. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, there's cells in there already. And I just used the other half of my Supreme Sheen that I mixed up for the first pour. I tipped it out into my cup and then I measured 25 grams of Floetrol and put it in there and gave it a good shake out. That way you can get the rest of it out. It's empty now. Make sure you get it all out. Oh, there's cells on top of that. That is so cute. It's feeling a little bit thick, you know. I'm just going to add just a tiny little splash of water. I don't know what my dogs are barking about. I'm just going to shut the door. And actually, I do know. I've got Abby out here with me. Abby's on heat. And her and Charlie mated this morning, but I don't want her getting... I don't want um, Connor getting to her, so... I've got her out here with me so that Connor can't get to her. Connor was out here before with me and she was in the other room and I just have to alternate one in, one out for the next week so that they stay away from each other. Okay, that's my copper. Now, I can move all these, I've told you. I've just mixed them up exactly the same way, the flow troll, the black. I've told you what the greens are. Okay, here we go. Bring that back. And again, straight pour. Dirty pour straight into the centre. Again, copper's gone to the outside. That must be that little bit of copper that was over the top. You know how I scraped it out? And I put the rest of it on the top. I think that's what it is. The top must go out to the outside. There you catch that. That wasn't very attractive. Let me see if I can do better with that. A little bit more control over that. Okay. So we'll have a nice light center. I did that on purpose uh, with the light green, put it in um, so it didn't blend so much. I wanted that lighter green in the centre. So it sells popping up already, so that's a good sign that my mix is a good consistency this time. I think it was just that black, as I said, I put a little bit extra black in and then I didn't compensate with the extra water that I probably should have put in okay it's really pretty like that isn't it with that copper ring such a shame to lose those never mind hopefully I'll get pretty cells again hey I've had them once I'll have them again it's pretty I can't keep that but there's too much paint sitting there like it's too thick it has to go it has to go off the side so Oops, there's a lot of paint on here with that base coat that I already had. Mm, I'm just going to go off to this corner one more time. Oh, Abby. Shut the door on her now. She's barking. Let me in. She wasn't happy when she was in and she's not happy when she was out. Okay. All right. Cells coming up straight away, as you can see. So a much better result. Got the cells there. Um, with the torch. Got much more of a dark green and turquoise, haven't we? That's actually the colour I was going for that I mixed 
that I left out in the second pour and now I've got it. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah, it's much better, isn't it? Hey guys. I'm not going to torch over this side here because I don't want any more cells. I don't know whether the heat helps or not. They may just come up on their own, but basically just popping bubbles. green center in the middle that bright green how pretty is that against that the black we've got the black there and we've got the pale green there and we've got that bluey green through there so that's really pretty I'm happy with this one I'm happier anyway and I don't have the big intestine things tilted them off straight away um, you know there's a couple of blobby pearls there but they're not too bad they're not like those long intestines. I, I got a few of them in this one. See the long the long ones there and there and that one kind of goes around and they kind of look like big slugs. That's what I don't like. I prefer these up here where I've just got the plain cells or pearls I like to call them. So I've been working on trying to get rid of the intestines <laughs> and just keep the pearls. And again you really don't want to tilt once the, you've got these pearls up because they'll just all stretch out of shape and they'll lose their nice round shape. So really torch, uh, tilt beforehand as much as you want to and then just leave it and wait for them to develop. You don't want to keep tilting uh, because you're just going to lose their, their shape. These ones here will all grow together. Uh, probably going to end up being more like this. See how there's a, a block of pearls there. You can still see that there, there's black in between them, but they have kind of grown together. And I think that's what's going to happen to this corner here. Whereas these smaller ones here, I think they will maybe stay uh, more separate. But we'll, we'll give that a few minutes. Um, again, I'm going to go and pause the video and uh, come back to you and see what happens in about 15 minutes so you can see the difference that the um, the consistency makes you know if your if your mix is too thick then the metallic paint can't come through the surface so it really needs to be your paints need to be thin enough um, so that the metallics can come up but not too thin that the, the cells just pop up and then and then sort of lose all their their shape oh, I'm in the light let me turn that off how does that look off is that any better hard to know all right um, I'm gonna go and grab a coffee because it is 12:30. I'm not going to have any lunch today. I'm just going to have a coffee and a biscuit so that I can go and have dinner out with my daughter. So I'll be back shortly. I'm back. And uh, the cells have turned out really quite nice. What I thought would happen in that bottom left hand corner where all the cells were just joined together, they've actually stayed a little bit more separate, which is really nice. You can see the dark green background between them. And then over on the right hand side, there's a lot more space between them. So looking really, really pretty. So yeah, I'm not sure. It's kind of a jungle theme, but then it's got that vortex in the middle. I don't know. I always try to see what these things look like. They don't always look like anything, I guess. All right, let me take you down for a close-up. So I come around here, see if we can pick up this shimmery shine. Mm. Whoops, that's way too bright. It's because I'm shining you into my light. I'm going to turn off my light. 
Okay. So there are those cells that are more separate and they go down the side as well. I don't know if you can see the side all that well with the light shining in on them, but yeah, the cells have gone round down the sides. So that's the lighter side. And then we move into the middle where it's darker and then we've got that really bright green it's kind of green going into turquoise it's quite pretty isn't it and then up there is that mass of uh, of cells or pearls that have still got some background between them which is really nice to see that's it from that corner And the cells are really pretty. They've got like they've got dimension to them. They've got colours inside them, which is really nice to see. I always like to photograph it from this corner into the light. I just think it picks up the, the colours really well. Oops, that doesn't look very nice. It looks orange. <laughs> so there we go. Got there in the end, hey? Sometimes you just have to work through. If you've got a failed pour, think about why it's failed. In my case, my mix was too thick. So yeah, made, a, made more paint, thinned it down, and got a much better result. So there you go. Um, I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do next. There's a few different colors I'd, I wanna try. As you saw, I had a whole heap of these. Supreme Sheen. I don't want to use up my gold though because I know my ladies that come to the workshop are going to want to use the gold so I won't use that. I might try a pearl, see how that goes. A pearl and purple. Hmm. Just to give the, when the girls get here, you know, they're going to have a look at the different colour schemes and go, oh, that works because some people it's difficult for them to picture what they want to do and how things are going to look. So if I try a few different colours and then have them all there waiting for when the students get here, they can say, yep, that colour scheme works. I'd like to do that. And that's how I do it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something. Please um, like and subscribe and share. It'd be great if my videos could get around a little bit more. And uh, join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. You don't have to be Australian to join. Anyone can join. Love to have you there. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.